you can start a phone farm quite easily. To prove that I'll be starting a brand new phone farm from scratch and by the end of this video you will be able to start your own as well. So first things first, we needed phones. Now after browsing eBay for a while, I came across a listing for 12 decent condition Pixel 2s. Now when searching for phone farming phones, these are the key aspects to look for. It is an Android, not iOS. It has Android 7.0 compatible and up, has at least 16 gigabytes of storage, and has at least two gigabytes of RAM. It also has to be no more than $50 Canadian per phone. Now, apart from that, searching for phones with cracked screens, low battery life, or just audio defects can actually reduce your purchase price greatly. Buying phones in lots rather than individually can save you a lot of money as well. Knowing that, these Pixel 2s checked all the requirements and so we invested 350 Canadian dollars for 12 phones. We also needed chargers and a hub for these phones, costing us another $50. These items will be linked in the description if you guys need any chargers or hubs. This brings our total to 400 Canadian dollars to start a 12 device phone farm. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to start setting things up. To do so, all we had to do is get everything plugged in and create a new Google account for each device. After that, we needed to install the phone farming apps. This includes our four main apps being My Robinhood, S'mores, 101 Suites, and Reclaim. If you didn't already know, these apps pay you simply to swipe up on the lock screen whenever an ad is played, as well as running passively in the background to collect data on the device. We also added a couple play and earn apps such as feature points and mold earn app, which essentially pays you to run games on the phone. Now three of these apps will actually require SMS verification, which means you'll need to get three different phone numbers for each device. But hold on, before you go out there and spend a ridiculous amount of money on phone plans, there is a way better solution to do this, and that is through a site called Text Verified. With Text Verified, you can get all your devices phone number verified for a small cost of a dollar per app. Now, I've been using Text Verified for, well, ever since phone farming required SMS verification. And let me tell you this, they have not disappointed. If you guys want to see how this service works, go ahead and click on the video linked in the card right here, or check for the link in the description to visit Text Verified. A big thank you also goes out to Text Verified for sponsoring this portion of the video. Another tip related to SMS verification is that I only verify my phones after I already cashed out. That way, if I'm banned for whatever reason, at least I've already cashed out enough to pay for the verification. Now to get into the profits. After setting things up, we can expect to make around 36 cents a day per device, which translates into $4.32 a day consistently and $129.60 a month. However, sometimes the points won't credit us for the daily check-ins. Therefore, if we were to add some slippage of let's just say 7 days that don't credit, well we are left with a profit of roughly $99.36 a month. Which means we'll have our brand new phone farm paid off fully in just four months and yeah everything after that is simply just profit and don't worry guys because i'll be giving you guys updates on this brand new phone farm and essentially just taking you guys along on this journey now i know what all of you guys are thinking right now what about the electricity costs well then i have a perfect video just for you right here